live. Are y'all seeing us and hearing us? I think it says we're on. Please let us know if you are. Uh, tried it three times with my phone and it wouldn't do it. So yeah, we had to switch what phones. There. Um, so mm -hmm. how do I find it? But let us know if you are hearing us. I, I need to pull it up on here. Pull the comments up. Go on ahead yours. and go to YouTube. Go ahead and pull the comments okay. up on yours. So that way we'll know for sure if we, if we are. Please let us know that you can see and hear us tonight. We see you and you're live. Okay, thank you, Roberto. We appreciate that. You got it up quicker than I. Yeah. Your um, phone's slow tonight. Yeah, we were trying different things. We just got a laptop here recently. We were going to use it to go live tonight. We had an issue there. We were going to have to work out. Then we tried my phone. didn't work. Uh, thank you, VA Fun Seekers. Good to see you all tonight. Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, thank you all for being in here tonight. Good evening, Louise. Um, thank you, Wanda. Deborah, thank you. All right, seems like we're good to go now, uh, Z. Thank you for letting us know that. Um, all right, guys, uh, good evening to everybody. Hope everybody's had a good day um, and a good weekend. So we just wanted to go live tonight, touch base again. We haven't been live in several weeks, uh, at least for any, anything long. Mm -hmm. I think we did do a really quick one from uh, Gatlinburg. Yeah. That was just very spontaneous. But yeah. um we got uh, Ralph from West Virginia, DP Mark. Good evening. Good evening to everybody. And it seemed like everybody can hear us. So thank y'all for responding. Rita Hughes, hello from South Carolina, the low country down there. Um, Luke Ledbetter, uh, good to hear from you tonight. Got any new paintings? I was worried about you. I asked her that. I said, you heard from Luke lately? Uh, we haven't, but uh, good to, I uh, think you did finally uh, comment yeah, on I something. Him. Yeah. Uh, good evening, Edward. Uh, good evening, David, Cindy, Carly, uh, VA Fund Seekers, uh, Gary. Hello from Maryland. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, good evening, Smoky Mountain Man. Thank you for being here tonight. Lisa Marshall and uh, Philip. Good to see you tonight. Melissa, good evening. Tony, hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Good to see y'all in here. Um, as with most lives, we don't uh, really have anything. What? No, uh, said what we're going to talk about. Bob, my daughter, is it Dudley? Yes, you commented on our Sheets video. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you live up in Pennsylvania, but you have a daughter that's right here in our area. You went to the school where his daughter works. Yeah, uh, well, I went to the yeah. old Dudley Shoals Elementary. They yeah, have the built one, a new yeah. one, but yeah, I, but I grew up in Dudley. The new one's where we go vote. That's our voting precinct. Yep. So. And I grew up in Dudley Shoals. Yeah, so um, that, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. uh, hello from Dalton, Georgia. At, 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 let's see AYT Adventures yesterday and today. Good evening. Mary Jo, good evening. Uh, Sharon, thank you for being here tonight. Greetings from West Virginia. That's the Adventures of Nanny and Pat. Good evening to y'all. Um, so Luke said he painted 14 paintings during his flu and COVID. Wow. You painted 14 paintings during... I, I, don't I like usually lay nothing. in the bed when I have the flu. I don't, I don't feel like doing nothing. I don't paint nothing. That's <laughs> I, I admire you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, connect tonight um, and um, talk to y'all again. We'd like to do that. We probably should do this more, but we don't really ever really have a topic that we want to talk about. So it's just kind of a, a free for all, I guess. We, you know, you talk about whatever comes up. Um, hello from Peoria, Arizona, mm. where it will be in the 90s by Friday. I hope y'all enjoy that. Uh, love Arizona. So we nice. love your state. I would not want to be there in the summertime, though. Uh, we have been in April and we have been in December, and we had no problem. Well, April was hot down in Phoenix, but it was cold up in Flagstaff. Yeah. Uh, December, it was very pleasant pretty much everywhere. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, beautiful, beautiful state. Uh, Chickamauga, Georgia. All right. Mm -hmm. So, appreciate you being in here tonight. Smoky Mountain Treasure Hunter and Lottery Scratcher. How are y'all doing? We are doing well. Hope you are. Yep. All right. So, uh, what do y'all want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody liking spring so far? It's like it warmed up really nice feel here. Like we had a winter. And then it's like it got cold again today. It warmed up to what? Well, get 70s? Or low so, 70s? Yeah, uh, Smoky Mountain. Now, we had 90% coverage here during the eclipse. The heavens declared. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Amen. I don't think we had that. I don't know exactly what our percentage here was. 
Uh, but it was cloudy, so it didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once in a while, you could make it out just a little bit through the clouds, but I didn't have glasses and anyway. So uh, the only thing that really happened here was it just got a little darker than it should have been that time of day for a little bit. And then yeah. it, um, not much else to, to talk about. But how are you guys liking going to Carowinds this year? Enjoying it. Um, it's different than Dollywood. There's things about Dollywood we like better. Uh, we probably would say the thrill rides at Carowinds are a lot bigger and more intense. Uh, it is, it's just something different. I think we... Yeah, Dollywood has some very nice rides, but Carowinds, you're going for the... But um, not as much as Dollywood, yeah. in my opinion. Carowinds is nice. It's just something, a change. We went, we yeah. went to Dollywood nine times last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go back and probably not time. going to be making as many videos from Carowinds, but we will do a few. We did the dog show because that was uh, we're dog lovers and they had the rescue dog show. We thought that was worth going to see and it was. So we wanted to share that with y'all. There's I, just not as much. to. I said at the beginning of that yeah. video. I'm sorry. Huh? The, I said there's just not as much to film right. like Carowinds. I said at the beginning of that video it was going to be short. And I got home and it's 53 minutes long. We're uh, talkers. <laughs> yeah. So I cut it down to about, I think, 40 some minutes. So uh, who else? We, uh, who's next? Harris Last Resort Adventures. Good evening, y'all. Good to see y'all in here. Um, I still don't know what happened the other day, y'all. We, we have no idea what, what the deal was there, but I'm glad we got that worked out. But good to see y'all in here tonight. Um, the, folks, if you haven't subscribed to their channel yet, please go and do that. Uh, they're tough. They camp camping in tough. freezing yeah. weather, and they eat gourmet food while they're she, camping. She's like gourmet yeah. chef. So y'all need, need to check them out. That's Harris Last Resort Adventures. Go over there and subscribe, please. Um, not right now, but right as soon as the live stream. No, you can't right now. I don't care. Just kidding. But um, uh, good to see y'all in here tonight. Uh, Philip, hello to VA Fun Seekers from Ringo, Ringo, Georgia. The wildflowers are amazing in the Smokies now. Oh, we were just up there a few weeks ago, and yeah, we could just kind of see that maybe they were they were starting to bloom a little mm -hmm. bit. So, um, do you have plans for a camping trip soon? Should, not soon, but this summer, most definitely. It's going to have to warm up a little bit. Um, I don't mind camping in the cold, but uh, it's kind of, you've seen our shower that we wreck, portable shower, and that that's just a little tough when it's still cold at night. And I'm cold naked. Yeah. Bartlett, Tennessee had 98% and it wasn't cloudy, so I'm, oh, wow. I, I don't know where Bartlett is. I'm going to guess you're the west western half of Tennessee, though, if you had that much coverage. Um, Smoke, uh, if you love coasters, you need to go to Hershey Park. We'll have to look at that. I uh, want to go there. Uh, the last two years, our Christmas gift from our boys has been season passes. Uh, Dollywood last year and Carowinds this year. So, obviously, we want to get the mon their money's worth out of that. Uh, it's not costing us anything, but we want to get their money's worth out of it. The Hershey Park will be something to check out. Um, VA Fund Seekers have been there. They love it. So, there's a, a second vote. Hershey has some awesome coasters. We love it there. Angie Sue says, hello from Southern Ohio. Good evening, Angie. Thank you for being here tonight. Really enjoy your videos and appreciate your hard work. Well, we appreciate you watching. Uh, people like you who are encouraging, make it work the work. Yeah, and it is work. It really yeah. is. But, uh, you know, we enjoy it. We enjoy connecting with you all. Wes says, hello from Wal Waleska. Where's that? I thought I knew where everything was. <laughs> uh, Wes, where, okay. where is Waleska? Uh, just returned home from another Mount Lacant hike. So, okay, you've been in, in the Smokies, obviously. Wow. Now, I don't know if you did it before the snow. But they had, I think, at least four inches of snow up there a couple of days ago over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you, I don't know if you did the hike in the snow or not or, or afterwards, but that, that would be something beautiful to see. If you have not ridden Wildcat's Revenge, you need, that sounds like a cool route, Wildcat's Revenge. Yeah. That's like the one that Carol the copper head struck. Yeah. Yeah. With Ghost Town being gone now, Maggie Valley, what is there to do nowadays? Oh, goodness. Maggie Valley is just beautiful scenery. Uh, you know what we like to do in Maggie Valley? We like to just go up there and relax and go up Soco Gap, ride the Blue Ridge Parkway a little bit, mm -hmm. go over to Waynesville. Uh, there's a lot more to do in Maggie Valley than just Ghost Town. Uh, they've got a, if you're into uh, biking, uh, they've got a, a, what is it called? Wheels Through Time. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Uh, yeah. We've been chastised for not doing a vlog there, but you can't record in there, so there's no reason for us to do it. Uh, but they, they don't let you record. But um, Maggie Valley is just a beautiful place. You're close to Cherokee. Uh, Cataloochee Valley is, is not far from there. Go and see the elk. Yeah. Um, all right. So you from Wallaska, Georgia. Okay. 
So Felicia uh, says, good evening from Louisville, Kentucky. Love all the videos. Thank you very much. Hope to see future Cades Cove and hiking videos soon as the weather warms up. Thank you for all you guys do for us. Hope to see you in the fall. Yeah, well, that, that would be great. Um, well, there will, we will be in Cades Cove. We do a camping trip there every year. We don't know what hikes we're going to be doing yet this year. We usually do one on my birthday weekend, but we do have actually other plans going out of state for my birthday weekend. So um, going to be going to an area that, I mean, we've driven through, but just haven't really spent any time in before, but we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully we'll bring you some stuff there. Ray's on the road says, hey guys, sorry we're late. That's okay. Uh, I'm not seeing any video. Is it my connection? It must be. Um, Everybody else is seeing video, I think. They said yeah, try, seeing try video. refreshing it, maybe. Yeah, just try refreshing I'm not really good at giving advice yeah, on what to do and something like that. Try. So, yes, from, I'm from Ella J. Okay, yeah, so that must be. Hello from beautiful St. Augustine. Good evening, Koala Bear. I hope y'all are doing well. Really enjoyed meeting you in December um, and having that meal with uh, with y'all. That was, that was uh, a lot of fun. And then seeing that rocket going across the that sky, was that was just the... Yeah. Uh, neat part of the evening so uh, really enjoyed that hope y'all are well we are staying in Townsend in a couple of weeks at Gateway Cottage thanks okay. for your reviews of things in that area yes we we'd love to spend more time in Townsend it, it, honestly Townsend looks better all the time every time we go to Gatlinburg yes it, it just really does uh, but uh, we have done a few things in Townsend but it's just it's more laid back um, mm -hmm. quieter yes and that's what we're leaning towards more and more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are from East Central Mississippi, about eight hours from the Smokies. Wow. Eight hours. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad I'm not eight hours from the Smokies. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, we're very blessed to live close enough. We can be up there in under three hours. Mm -hmm. On a road trip with my dad, and we went to Mount Airy. Great. Went to Snappy Lunch. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. hope you got the pork chop sandwich. Nice. Snappy Lunch has 1970s prices on the menu. Uh, <laughs> You, if you're in Mount Airy, you got to go there. We, we did it just before the snow last Monday and Tuesday, right before winter returned. Oh, yeah, so okay. you probably had some really good weather then. Um, nice. So, very fun series. The beach was very nice. The week flew by. Had some great sea. Now, the VA Fun Seekers, they just got back from the North Myrtle Beach, Cherry Grove area, somewhere we go at least once a year, not sometimes twice a year. Mm -hmm. Um my mom and stepfather have a place in, the, in that area. So we go down several times. Really looking forward to their videos that they're going to be putting out this week. Been, we've watched all of them so far. We watched the, uh, please forgive me, I just forgot the name of it. The Southern, one you just put out today, so, Simply Southern, I think. Barbecue. Or, yeah. Buffet. So that was that was a great video. Um, let's see, I think, I think I missed something here. I'm sure David had good seafood. Yeah, David likes those fried oysters um, and mm -hmm. scallops. So you like scallops and the fried oysters too. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Louise Shepard, Bryson City is close to Maggie Valley in Cherokee. Yes, it is, not not far at all. Bryson is such a cute, quaint area with lots of things around it to do. Yeah, that's right, the, the train. Darnell Farms. Darnell the Farms. But Darnell Farms has become one of our favorite destinations in that area, honestly. And I've been seeing their Facebook. They're got, they have um, fresh strawberries now, so. We need to make, go make, make a trip up there. Yeah, so Smoky Mountain Faith, we agree on Townsend. Yeah, peaceful side of the Smokies, that's mm -hmm. right. Um, yes, we enjoyed it too, all of us. Wonderful. Yes, it was. We had a great time. Ray's on the road. Loved your recent Cumberland Jacks video. I was excited when it opened. We're dog lovers, but the menu just didn't appeal to... Yeah, uh, I think we were there the first time 10 days after it opened. It was a very mixed review. I think yours was better that first time. Uh, my ribs that I got were good, but one of the sides I got it was that fried hominy. I, that was the absolute worst thing I've ever gotten in any restaurant. And uh, we were walking by it back in January, and we noticed their menu was just totally revamped almost. Yeah, a lot more out of So we wanted to try it again, and I'm glad we did. It was, it was really good uh, this time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the portion size of my meal, I think, you, you didn't feel like your sandwich was very big, but mine was enough. Yeah, to, I think it was also the tray that they had yeah. put it on. And I'd never had a Monte Crisco sandwich before. I mean, so I thought it was good, but a lot of people said that they A couple didn't people do said it. that they didn't do it the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. I think Tony mentioned that, and another of you were also mentioned mm -hmm. that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it was still good. It yeah. just looked small, but it really wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. 
Our friends, hello, Brooks and Christy. Yeah, appreciate y'all being in here tonight. Uh, Elvis Lovers RS, hello from Star, South Carolina. I know where Star, North Carolina is. I didn't know where the one South Carolina is. Have y'all been to Lancaster County, Pennsylvania? Well, um, that's on our agenda for this year. It, it is. It's, it is coming up. I have been through there. I don't know if you've ever been through there. I've been through it, but just through it. Uh, but we are going to be doing that at uh, some point this year. So, yeah, uh, we plan to check it out. Let's see. Where are we now? Have you ever... Let's see. Hey, uh, Roberta Elizabeth. Go up. I guess I went down too far. Okay. Oh, she's asking Peggy if she's ever stayed at the Tally Ho. Oh, oh. I don't, that, that's where we stay. What was the name of the place in Townsend we stay with? Townsend Gateway, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, Ralph and Tracy. Thank you for your time and effort to bring us such great restaurant reviews and reviews of the Townsend campgrounds. We really enjoy the thorough reviews on the campgrounds, showing the campsites. That was something I just kind of thought of on my own. Mm -hmm. Now, after I did a few, I realized there's been another person who did it too, and that's, and that's great. I'll tell you what started that. I never really thought of doing it, but when we were going to go to Mile High Campground a few years ago, we were trying to book a site online, and you're basically booking on site unseen. Mm -hmm. And there is a campsite photos website, but all you get is pictures, and they're not always great. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to just walk through these campgrounds and try to show the sites as many as I can. It's a little tough if people's in their sites sitting in the chair staring at you. Yeah, they're you don't really just want, you know. <laughs> so you kind of got to be discreet there. So I can't show them all, but I do try to show as many as I can because you, you do get some looks doing this. Uh, <laughs> believe me. Um, it looks like there's a lag right here on our there screen. It like, looks like it's a big one. And I'm seeing myself make all these movements. I need to be still, I guess. Um, but Sharon, I appreciate your positive comments. Uh, we we really, we like it when somebody appreciates the reviews we bring and it doesn't tear them apart and try to criticize every and critique every little thing. We appreciate people like you who, who are an encouragement and who are positive. Yes. Um, not, it doesn't mean a person has to agree with our opinion of a restaurant. We may not like a place that somebody else loves or we may love a place that, that's, that's okay. Uh, that's okay, but we are trying to give our experience, and I think some people expect us to give their experience. We we can't do that. We don't know what your experience was. Uh, Sorry. We try to figure out ways to keep our dogs out of the live stream. If we put them back there, they bark. We let them run around in here, they growl and do that. They fight each other. You hear the little tip toes. Yeah. The floor. But if they're not in the room with us, they will pitch, pitch a, a fit. So. Um, Let's see. Smoky Mountain Man. Big fun seekers. The wait time is terrible. Right here. Is he wanting up the stairs? No, he's not even at the stairs. Um, let's see. Ray's on the road. Hey, Smoky Mountain Faith Food. I'm happy to see you on here. That's like a 10 second lag right there. Um, I'm just now leaning over on the screen. All right. Rambling around the south. Hello, you two. Good evening to you. Thanks again for praying for me. Absolutely. Today was three weeks since my ankle surgery. I go back this Wednesday for a post-op appointment. I hope that goes well uh, for you. Come here, Rose. Come here. And Deborah says, I live in Townsend and many events with music and food coming up. Look it up online. We need to do that. Yeah. Because uh, we like events with things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, something where you can just kind of relax, listen to maybe some good old, I'm assuming, bluegrass and mountain music. Um, let's see. Harris, I swear, thank y'all. You're, you're very welcome. You will love the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area. Can't wait to see you at Shady Maple. We're going to try to get on video of me trying to walk out of Shady Maple from what I hear, but we are planning to do that. We actually uh, plan to go there. I think we're going to be going for lunch, to be honest with you. Early. Yeah. Um, I just, I can't do those all you can eat. We don't do them much anyway, but I can't do those late at night anymore. I just I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Um we haven't been camping since we were kids, but we're thinking about doing a camping trip. What campground would you recommend? Any tips? Well, now that depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a campground with showers, um, things like that, you probably want to stay outside the National Park. I, I know Townsend has several. Cosby has some good ones. There's Greenbrier between Gatlinburg and Cosby. We like to go for the ones in the National Park because uh, we actually, we erect our own shower. 
Uh, we like to go for the ones in the National Park. We love Cades Cove. Smokemont is nice on the Cherokee side. If you want one that's away from everything and quiet, Cataloochee uh, is, is beautiful. Yeah, Just make nice. sure you don't forget anything because it's a long way back out to go get it. So We actually have a video showing the road yeah. to it. It's yeah, a dirt it's gravel not, road. It's not a great road, but it's beautiful. It it's is, beautiful. especially in the fall. Yeah, so um, this depends on what you're looking for, really. Uh, if you're looking for something that's got a little bit more perks. Uh, there's some, I'll tell you something else. There's some nice ones outside of Cherokee down Big Cove Road. I, I would can't, mm -hmm. there's a, that's the hardest part after that. It's easy. Yeah. And it's a beautiful fall. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Smoky Mountain Man says, the Monte Cristo sandwich at Cheddar's is wonderful. Yeah, we've been, you know, a couple people told us Cheddar's. And please don't give her any reason to make me go back to Cheddar's because she likes it anyway. But uh, I, I don't mind Cheddar's. They're, our nearest one's about 40 miles from here, down in Gastonia. But um, you usually have have something you always get when you go there. So would you venture off of that and get the Monte Cristo? Yeah, because a lot, did I get that the last time? I think you get it about every time. The, the last, last time we had gone, what was it, last, was it fall? When did we go? I don't know if I got it that night. You may not have. I, I, thought, I thought you did. But. Are you, yeah, I will say I usually did uh, or do. All right. So they dip it in a funnel cake batter and deep fry. Well, that sounds like it's good for you. <laughs> and deep fry and then put powdered sugar and serve it with a raspberry. The raspberry sauce. No, I think yours came with that. It, it did come with a raspberry yeah. jam, preserved, whatever. That was amazing. I must have that was really good. I'm sorry. I'm getting an Amazon music ad here popping up or over the comments. Let's get rid of that. Um, Shady Maple is the largest buffet in the U.S. I've seen several videos on it. I've seen VA Fun Seekers, J&B. I've seen several videos there. Can't wait to see it for myself. Um, let's see. What does your shirt say? Do you think the Braves have a chance this year with Strider potentially out? You know, I just read a headline that one of their key players was out. Uh, I guess uh, that tells me who it is. Uh, my shirt is basically 55 years of Braves history, and it's got players from the past, and uh, the present, I, you know, I don't have a lot of confidence in the Braves. I mean, they're they're good, but they generally choke, notwithstanding the World Series two years ago. They did win that, but uh, like this last year, they lost to uh, the Phillies. I just, I think they'll have a good year as far as winning it all. I, don't, I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, Tony, it's like you man, that's the recipe I use. Very good sandwich. Uh, yes, I will message you the event. Uh, we appreciate that. That would be Deborah. nice. Thank you. Thank you. We are starting, honestly, I don't know if it's because we've been to Gatlinburg like nine gazillion times or what it is, but really when we go now, we just find ourselves doing the same things, walking the streets, fighting the traffic, wondering why we came back. And I mean, we love the Smokies. We're never going to stop going to the Smokies, but just Gatlinburg, it's just... It's like when we go, it's like, because we've been so many times, we love the area. So then, then yeah. when you're there, it's kind of like, it's not what I remembered it being, <laughs> and then it's kind of like, yeah, it's just it, more quiet. It's changed anyway. a lot over the years. So we have yeah. started spending time on the North Carolina side, the Maggie Valley, Bryson City area. Mm -hmm. um, but oh. Townsend, we love Townsend. We really do. Y'all got one of the best steakhouses there uh, of, of anywhere in the area. Did go to Santa's Land one time. It was a neat place. You bet. That's one place you've been. I haven't. I went as a little girl. Um, don't remember much about it except they had a little blacksmith in there and the guy made took a nail and curved it around and made a ring. That stood out to me. I, I was probably too scared to ride things back then because I would have been pretty little, like five or six maybe. The funny thing about Santa's Land, when you drive by it in December, it says closed for the season. I mean, how, how weird is that? Mm -hmm. Santa's Land is closed at Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it closes, I guess, after October, maybe November. Um, Elkmont is the best camp... We like Elkmont. It's a big campground. Um, there's a, we actually, not this last trip, or was it? Was it this last time or January trip? January. We actually went over to the campground and walked through trying to figure out some sites we might like to reserve there. Yeah. So we wrote down some. I put some on video. I, have, I, I didn't post the video because I didn't do a whole campground walkthrough, but just for our uh, future reference. Our key to keys. Good evening to you and your beautiful wife. Good evening to you. I always try to catch your videos. Love your content. Thank you very much. Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. We both really appreciate your support, Derek and Shasta, for reaching out to us. Well, um, y'all are a blessing to a lot of people. Um, we, as, as Christians and brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, uh, Bible says, Barry, you want to know those burdens and uh, what 
y'all went through was just uncalled for. And uh, we, we prayed for y'all and just want to be an encouragement. Like I said, we're, we're here if y'all need anything. Um, smoking, is, is Gene Garber on your shirt? You know, I actually looked before I put it on. He is not. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll try I'm to sorry. look. Um, <laughs> I actually wasn't sure. I, I got this out of the drawer because it's baseball season. You know, my Wolfpack shirts are up, obviously. Uh, so we're going to wear one tonight because, honestly, I know we got some gear from Indiana and I didn't want to hear it. So, um, but... Um, so uh, Tennessee's out, obviously. Uh, the same viewers from Indiana didn't want to hear it. So uh, Purdue put both of my teams out, so I figure it's time to bring out the baseball stuff. So uh, we'll see what the Braves do this year. With it, but I am uh, – I remember Gene pitching right. for years. Right. I remember um, right. seeing the clips over the years of him ending Pete Rose's streak, and I was very honored to uh, receive a baseball from him. Um, Rita Hughes, with everything that's happened this year, just wanted to thank you again for meeting up with us at Christmas. We truly enjoyed it. We enjoyed seeing y'all too. Um, enjoyed walking around Dollywood with y'all um, and having you uh, video bomb us at the incredible Christmas place. You remember doing that, don't you? We appreciate the gift that y'all got us, but that was that was very sweet of y'all. Hope hope you and Sean are doing well. Um, Dave White says, I'd like to see you do a video preaching. It would be different. I'd enjoy hearing you preach. You you might turn me off after a time or two. I don't know. I'm one of those that uh, you either like it or you don't. Uh, there's not a lot of middle ground with me. Now, um, I do teach Sunday school slash preach every uh, first two Sundays of the month, every month. Uh, you can catch that live on YouTube. At, uh, what is our YouTube channel? Um, I don't even know. Just look up our pastor, Pastor Danny Castle. Yeah, and, and, sure and it's Shining Light Baptist Church. I yeah. don't remember exactly, but if you search that, it should come up. It's also got a Facebook page that yeah. has all the services. As I well. did yesterday morning. We'll be again next Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, I love your camping. Uh, hold on. Oh, I think we missed a few comments again here. Deborah Claypool, I'd never go to Gatlinburg, ever. No. It, it's just getting to the point right now maybe well no not now I guess back in January February maybe it backed off a little bit uh, but it's going to start picking up now I think Rod runs uh, is that going on now or is that just coming up yeah, I know it's coming up it could mm. be going on this weekend I don't know Dollywood ticket holder love your camping videos look forward to seeing more of them well we look forward to doing some more of them mm -hmm. I love to camp Rays on the road. All those stupid moonshine places seem to be taking over the stripping. It, it's a shame. Yeah. I, I don't disagree with you a bit. Uh, I, I agree with you 100%. Because I, I remember what Gatlinburg was when I was a little boy. They had the wishing well. Just these neat little shops. You could watch glass blowers there on the street. More crafts. More crafts. More native. And honestly, the, the, the hemp and the moonshine has just took it over. You see, whenever we would drive into Gatlinburg, as soon as we got into town, we'd all roll our windows down because we could smell all the food and stuff like that. There was like that smell of Gatlinburg. Yeah, that's not what you smell so no, much now. No, it's so sad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. Smoky Mountain Man, Dave White. Derek is a great preacher. Well, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I thank you for that. I watch and listen to him on his church's live stream. Well, that's that's a blessing to me to know that uh, there are people who watch. Um, so... I, I really don't, when, I, when I'm up there, I don't really shy away from anything controversial. And that's that's the thing. That's where you, know, you either love me or you, you hate me. So, uh, Derek, God bless and thank you for the great videos. Thank you, Patricia, for, for those kind words. Smoky Mountain Faith, we love you. So glad you kept going. Yeah, absolutely. Just mm -hmm. just keep on going, especially if you're using it as, as a ministry to reach people for the Lord. The devil's not going to like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Raise on the right, I agree, and is ruining Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. When we first started going to Pigeon Forge, it was uh, it was, it was, it was a dry bad. time. I, I remember that. I remember when it was. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what's that? Mall culture high from down the road. I live in Hickory on the Bethlehem line. Love the videos. Hope to meet y'all one day. Yeah, just um, shoot us a message or something, and we can we can meet in Hickory or something. So we actually have friends over in Bethlehem. We've not been to Bethlehem and. Or since the last time they invited us over, which, which has been, been a while. while. <laughs> I don't wonder what their problem is. No. Uh, but yeah, we actually have friends that live off of, um, I think it's called Le uh, Leon Fox Road or something like that over there. Anyway, you go up there and, and turn at the, um, I guess it's Lowe's Food, turn right. It's still about Lowe's that, Food. Yeah, if it's still Lowe's. Um, 
raids on the road. Yes, these trolls are just uncalled for. They have started on us, and we just started our channel. I just don't understand. I think I figured it out. Um, I think there are people that are just miserable in their own lives, and they don't like to see other people happy and living theirs. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. We have uh, somebody. We don't. I have an idea, but I don't know for sure. It does not matter what we post. They make sure and thumbs down it including when you went to the doctor to get answers about your hand. We weren't reviewing a restaurant. We weren't doing anything but giving an update on your health and somebody thumbs down that. And then we went to that uh, coffee shop where they reach out and they, they hire people who have disabilities such as Down syndrome. They thumbs down that. Listen, you don't like us, that's fine, but you got to be pretty miserable to thumbs down somebody getting answers on their health and a business that helps people with disabilities. You gotta be pretty miserable. So you know what I'd say? Just don't worry about those people. They're uh, they got something wrong inside of here, and yeah. you know I don't know how you hate somebody you've never met that's never wronged you. I don't know how you just decide you, you hate somebody. Uh, but there are people out there, sadly, that are just pure. I think it's jealousy. It, There's it a lot is. of jealousy because if they see you doing something they wish they could be doing, yeah. or you know the life you're living, yeah, they want that life. Yeah. You know, rather than trying to do that for themselves, they try to bring other people down to their level. Yeah. I, you know, it's hard to say, but there are people who are just pure evil. And that's just, there's no way to sugarcoat that. Um, yes, these trolls, yeah. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. If, if, if they're attacking you, you're doing something right. So, Tammy, hello from Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Hope you and Daryl are doing well tonight. So, I hadn't heard from y'all in a while. But glad y'all are doing well. Mall culture. I live on Grandview Street in Granite Falls. I know where that's at. Start saying you do the building for the town. So <laughs> that's behind the middle school. Close to that where your cousin lives. So when you get your bill in the mail. Well, no, they said they live. They don't live there now. Oh, oh, okay. Well, if it's been the last five years, then she bills you for your electricity. If, it, if, or she if you ever come by the town office, that's, I'm there. <laughs> we went to Elkmont and enjoyed it. Um, Hair's last resort. I bet y'all camped there when there was snow on the ground, probably. <laughs> or, I bet when it was cold. Y'all y'all go on some adventures, I tell you. Yes. <laughs> uh, I admire y'all. You're tough. Um, my mom's from Dudley Shoals, too. Maiden name Alton. I knew one. I went to school with one or two people, Alton. But uh, I just haven't seen him in years. Seemed like the boy's name was Benjamin. He'd been about my age. Did you know any? He went there. Any. Okay. That's been a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun. April 18th is the rod run. We won't even bother going into town. Yeah. I believe I'd stay home too, <laughs> or go out of town. Mm -hmm. uh, Ray's on the road, and they tore down that church for a parking lot. Terrible. You talk, you're talking about the one up there by Luigi's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Over yeah. That was, was that a church or, or like just like a wedding chapel, or did they actually have services in there too? I don't know. Yeah, I know, I know where you're talking about. Uh, April 18th is the rod run. We want to, okay, yeah. Let's see the. We're in. It's like I scroll down a little bit and it. Jerks too much. Yes, it does. So, Rovier says hello to everyone. He's. That's um, what it was. He was wanting to be up here and be part the of The charm of Gatlinburg is gone. Yeah, Deborah, it, it is. Bob, hello and cheers. North Carolina country growing Bob. We watch y'all. We get hungry watching you two. How about. The all you can eat crabs. Gosh, the last time we did that was it uh, Captain George's? Mm hmm. Yeah. I, crab legs. There's yeah. not much I like better than crab legs. I don't get them often, but uh, that would have been what, November? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been lately, other than last week's Gatlinburg trip, we've been doing a lot more local stuff. That's because we've been staying around local. We got some big things planned for this summer, so we're trying to kind of. Um, be frugal a little bit, but you know, there's gonna be some weekends here and there where we go to Gatlinburg or the Smokies or something. Uh, probably head to North Myrtle sometime within the next month. Yeah, um, God bless America, yes, sir. We're in Lowell, okay. Well, McCaddenville, that's where, uh, oh, yeah, Christmas Town or Christmas City, what is it, Christmas Town, Christmas you say? Town. yeah, just did a video there back in December. If you've never been to McCaddenville, North Carolina at Christmas. You have not seen Christmas lights until you do. It's nice. Very nice. Koala bear, eat more onions. I'll, you're welcome to mine. Okay. <laughs> um, she's saying that because what I ordered that night had onions in it, and I was not ready for that. 
Uh, yeah, Ralph and Tampa Aggie. Gatlinburg, like so many places, more about the party scene. Moonshine bars, etc. Not so much family or Yeah, I think that's a sad part. It used to be family, yes, friendly, family it oriented. And it still is a little bit, but yeah, it's it's lost a lot of that. It really, really has. Um, I've changed too much. I try to stay clear of crowded places. Even stores we used to like when we were married, when our boys were little, they're gone. Most of them are gone. Yeah, they are. Most of them are gone. Mm -hmm. They used to be forest. Yeah. You know. So many trees. Yeah. Um, do we go off again? We come back on that's twice now. It said that we lost connection for a minute. Um, let's see. A little late, but we're watching now. Good evening, Rex. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, next county over. Hello from Tina and myself. Good evening, Ted and Tina. Wanda, that is so sad. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, all right. Those people need the Lord to pray for them. It's jealousy. Yeah, it, it, it really is. Um, I mean, I, in a way, I don't understand it either. I mean, I, I don't, I don't get it. Bible preaching, Pastor Dan, on you is how I watch y'all's church. Okay. Yeah, I know that would take, definitely take you to it. I enjoyed your message this past week. I'm on, I didn't get through with it. I'm going to finish it this coming Sunday, Lord willing. So very sad. You're right, Derek. Some people are just miserable within themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Taco says, hey, Rovier and Renoir. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. hello back to Taco. I hope he's okay. feeling better. Um, that's uh, Tony and Ginger's dog. And he was uh, having some pain, favoring a leg last week. I hope I hope those uh, um, the medicine that they gave him has helped him. Bob and I are saying hi from Lowell, North Carolina. We both love watching your channel. Yes, down around McCaddenville. Uh, we love going down there, especially at Christmas. Um, appreciate y'all watching. And in fact, we're going to be, and I don't know the weekend yet, um, but I'll tell you what brought it on was our K&W cafeteria review. And I made a comment, something to the effect, I don't remember exactly now, that you don't see a lot of cafeterias anymore. About 812 people told me that there was a cafeteria in Gastonia called Jackson's Cafeteria. I forgot about them. Used to have one here in Lenore when the mall first opened. And that's been 40, 40 years ago, probably. Uh, and there's, apparently there's still one there. So that might be something we want to do. We, we actually love cafeterias. Um, I do anyway. I do. Mm -hmm. But, um, so Terrell says, hello all, good evening to you. Triple B, agree. Some people can only feel good about themselves by being hateful to others. Yeah, don't get mad at them, feel sorry for them. I do because I don't know how that can give anybody a good feeling. I, I don't know how just trying to bring somebody down makes you feel, I, <clears throat> not you, but I mean, you know, the people that do yeah. that. Um, I, I don't. I don't understand it. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to understand. That's what I was going to say. I don't yeah. want to. Understand I don't want to ever be, get in that position no. where I understand that. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, that was Sugar and's wedding chapel. They tore down a parking lot for Over Mountain. Now the tiny little church going up three twenty one was tore down too. Which one was that? Going. Okay. There was one. There was one on the left as you're going out of town, but then there was one on the right. Chapel before, before, yeah, before something. that bur or that burn down when the, in the fires right before the Sleepy Bear Motel. There was that Anthony's Pizza that was near. Wasn't that it? Uh, yeah. There's the car. It's where El Sonador used El to be. El Sonador, maybe. That, yeah. Well, that Anthony's Pizza. I, th was I there. think you're right. Yeah, I think that's a long time ago. Have you ever been to West Virginia? Yes. Uh, the last time we were in West Virginia was right before we started doing this, though. Uh, we were there. I want to say. The last time was in uh, January of, what year did you get your car? 2020. 2020. Uh, and then we had been there a few months before that to the New River Gorge. And I've been to West Virginia many, many times uh, growing up. Um, yeah, you've been local. Christmas Town, USA. Yes. Uh, McCaddenville is, is just on another level as far as Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. Well, it kind of bothered us a little bit. So they started turning them off, and we're we're walking through the town shooting our video. <laughs> we get down by the lake at ten o'clock on a weekend night. They're turning the lights off. Yeah. So we'll have to get there earlier next time. The people, the people's houses. That's up to them when they mm -hmm. turn those off. But as far as the public lights, they turn off at yeah. ten. Kendra, hey Derek and Shaughnessy, hi from Indiana. Good evening, Kendra. Okay. You are always an encouragement to us. You have mm -hmm. never you have never said anything but nice things to us. And we appreciate that. Okay. Uh, you're you're very uh, encouraging. 
We are glad you're in here tonight. Uh, which a lot of y'all are the same way. Most of y'all um, have been the same way. But um, let's see. I don't know how I managed to skip 10 comments just by... <coughs> okay, Philip. I went back and watched the video from the weekend of the Rescue Dog Show. It warms my heart to see dogs there in a shelter get outside and play and have fun. Yes, thank yeah. you. Kat. Yeah, and I think all the ones they had have actually been adopted by those trainers, and they're actually their, their pets now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, we have a heart for, I, honestly, I have a heart for animals in yeah. general, except stink bugs. I don't have a heart for stink bugs. <laughs> but outside of that, you ask her. I'm not like most guys that can just, I don't, if I see a snake, I don't, I don't bother it. Yeah, we yeah. try to leave things alone. I'll they're in their natural habitat, just yeah. let them be. Uh, if I can get a bee to fly outside rather than kill it, I do. And uh, that's just We me. had one in the living room the other night, and I think it was at night, and it flew inside, but I guess because of lights, I told him, I said, I'm shutting this door to the rest of the house. I said, turn the light off and the outside light on and left yeah. it open. So that way we fly back yeah. outside because it's just like. But a few years back, we actually, there was a black snake that was, we saw him in our yard. He was tangled up in some plastic garden fence. It's the plastic, yeah. like the uh, trellis fence. And I said, we can't, he, he was going to die. I said, we can't let him do that. So we actually rescued the snake. One of us held him while the other cut the fence off of him. I held him. You sure about that? Yeah. Because okay. I remember you were impressed that I did it. Okay. But, uh, we, we let him go. That's just how we are. But yeah. when it comes to dogs, I mean, dogs are uh, like some of those loyal creatures that yeah. are. Um, but, um, you know, that's just, we, we love animals. Uh, always have. Let's see. Terrell says, will you be doing a video of Kate's code now that they've removed over 600 trees? Why they moved that? I didn't know that many. The wind, found. yeah. I, actually, I knew a bunch had found. I didn't know it was that many, but right probably an hour and a half ago, I saw where I think Smoky Mountain Family maybe hmm. did a video and, and had that in their title. Oh, wow. I think that's who it was. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but we're not going to be going to Kate's Cove anytime in the next few weeks. So we just got back from the Smokies. So we will be going at some point in the summer, but um wow. yeah it's not going to be anytime soon daryl hey Derek and sean glad y'all had a live stream speaking of all you can eat crab legs have y'all tried crabby mics here not we have never eaten the surf side but is there not a crabby mics there in a restaurant row in myrtle beach is that not one of the first ones we ever did no that was the giant crab that we ate at well, i still think some, i still think there may be one right? there yeah. may be one there but we the, our yeah. first one was no, we've actually never been down to Surfside, uh, except driving through there. I think on our way to Charleston, we went through there. Bob, good food around you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do some more local stuff, like from the Boone area, uh, Bowling Rock area, uh, on, on weekends that we're not out of town, because there's some places up there we want to feature, too. Um, we, and Boone's just a, a stone's throw up the mountain for us. It's a nice ride up there. Yeah. So, Frank, hello from Dayton, Ohio. I love your show. Thank you, Frank. Appreciate that. Hello from Indiana. Good evening, David. Did you see the eclipse? It was great here in Dayton. Uh, it was not great here in North Carolina. Uh, I don't know what our percentage of totality was, but uh, it wasn't anywhere near like what y'all had. And we had a lot of clouds today. So it was basically once in a while you might see it through through a thin layer of clouds. But we didn't really get to see much. Mm -hmm. I think it was only like 83, yeah. 84%. It just got a little bit darker than mm -hmm. it would normally be. That's really all that we uh, got from it. Plus, you know, I didn't have glasses anyway. And I'm not going to uh, damage my eyesight, uh, okay. you know, for that. Um, let's see. The sound is messed up. You sound like Chip. Does it still sound like that? It's probably a little bit. Cause I know our our signal must be bad because everyone thought it'll go off and then it'll come back on. Yeah, I'm curious. They ask if anybody else is having sound. I am curious about that. How are the rest of you hearing it? Well, Triple V says sound is good here. Okay. Every, yeah, VA fun Who was it earlier that said they weren't getting video? Was that also... I don't remember. It may have been them. Was that, I don't know if that was you, Dolly, would take over. Somebody earlier said they weren't getting video. It must be... If that was you, it must be on on your end because I think That's everybody. That's what they else... say here, and this must be on my end. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um, hey, Frank and Kendra. I remember Morrison's. Oh, do, do I remember them? That was my favorite of all time. Um, I, I'm a very sentimental person, and uh, you know we go to Sarasota, Siesta Key, Florida every year. One of the places we ate when I was a little boy, my family took. We always went to the Morrison's cafeteria there in the uh, Sarasota Square Mall. And uh, when that shut down, 
I think you had like console me for an hour or two. <laughs> it was just, uh, I love Morrison's. There used to be one in Haynes Mall, Winston-Salem. There used to be one in Greenville, South Carolina. Been to all of them, uh, or all of those three. Um, I, I loved them. That was my favorite cafeteria of all time. Then Piccadilly bought them out. Uh, and then I guess, I, didn't, I don't even know, is there any Piccadilly still left? I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Piccadilly took it over. And Lakeland, Lakeland, Florida. There was one in the Lakeland Square Mall too. Mm -hmm. And it was gone. Um, so at least those four I remember. Triple B sound is good here. That's good. This sounds good on our end. Sound like chipmunks. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm glad that everybody's not here. Here it's like <laughs> that. I hope whatever it is it, that it resolves itself. But uh, let's see here. Okay, where where are we now? I lost it again. Okay, I'm gonna start using the bar over here instead of this little wheel on the, on the mouse. Mm -hmm. So you can use this little bar. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. The little tiny church was the wooden one up by El Sanador going out toward Alamo. It was white, wasn't it? Wasn't it that called Sugarland's Chapel or something? By the way, um, Brooks, I'm, we were watching the live stream the other night, and I was very impressed with another aspect of it. Y'all's looks a lot better than us. And I don't, I'm, I'm sitting there asking her, how is she putting their her image to the side and then pulling up other stuff on the screen? Now, that's probably something very easy. Basic, or highlighting comments. The high, yeah, and having highlighted comments at the bottom. We're, we're going to have to get with y'all. You're going to have to teach these old folks here how to do stuff on the computer. Because I'm sitting there like, how are they doing that? How did she just put her image over here and then put something else up? I didn't know if you guys had a different program or something. Y'all may be laughing at me, but I don't have a clue how y'all are doing that. And I wish I knew how. So, uh, it's like we're always learning. So we try to learn. Yeah. Uh, George Clayton, Moonlight Feels Right was written and sung by Bruce Blackman who now lives in Atlanta. He still writes songs. By the way, he had the greatest marimba solo of all time in that favorite song. Mm. Well, what's that in reference to? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for... Was that in response to something earlier? I don't remember. Those lights were the best I ever have seen. Are you talking about uh, McCaddenville at Christmas? I agree, if, if you are. I can't wait for y'all to do another the Gatlinburg, Tennessee Christmas trip. Well, John, it's going to be not too much longer. We just were up there. Was that last weekend? Yes, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because we had to leave. We leave out early from there a lot on Sunday mornings, I'm especially church. on my teaching mornings where I have to be at, be at church. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh my goodness, I made it. I had to get the chickens in. They weren't cooperating. Well, Sherry, we're glad you made it tonight. Uh, hello from Ohio. Good evening, Andy C. from Ohio. Signal not good. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Kendra Smith, I'm glad I can be here. Love watching you too. I love that you share your faith. Thank you. We we appreciate you letting us know that. Uh, George Clayton, watching watching from South Asheville. Okay, South okay. Asheville. Not, not too far away. Um, Andy says, hey, oh, talking to Frank. Hey, from Middletown. Hello from Brevard. Good evening, Tony. Tremont looked like a war zone because of the trees. I, I imagine so. Wow. You know, if it looked any worse than when, Deborah, I don't know how long you've been in that area, but uh, the storms of 2012. Uh, if you were there then, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, there's actually a chapter in a book written about those storms. We were trapped in Cades Cove when those came through. We were there. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we finally were able to get out of the cove the next day, that's all you could see along one one area between there and Townsend was just trees laying. Everywhere. Where they had basically had to cut a lot of them, too, to yeah. clear the road. That was one of the scariest times we've ever had camping. Yeah. Um, because we're actually having, uh, some of our friends had rented a cabin over in Wears Valley, and they came over that evening to the campground. We were grilling out, and we hadn't heard no news or anything, because you don't hear a lot in Cates Cove. So they asked me, they said, have you heard that we're supposed to have some bad storms later? And I said, no, it happened. And I'm just thinking, a thunderstorm, you know, our tent's going to stay dry. We had no idea, and they said, no, these are bad. And while we're eating, we just hear that, we hear it coming. And just the trees just start bowling. I said, we, they just jumped across and said, we got to get out of here. 
they didn't get out of there. They didn't get back to the next morning because a tree had already fallen and blocking them. They had to wait for some yeah. of them to cut, cut their way out. And we, I said, we got to get out of this campground and get out in the cove where it's open. Yeah. And people died in that storm. A couple sad. people died. Yeah. Uh, if, it, if it's any worse than that, I don't know if I want to see it, uh, just to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. That was probably the scariest we've ever had, had it camping. Yeah. Koala bear asked about your hand. We were concerned about was clotting. And uh, we were concerned that a blood clot could cause some damage. And when we went down to High Point and got and talked to the doctor, he says, no, that, that, that's what you want. He said that it's fine, that basically yeah. it slows the flow down. Because these yeah. are not the deep vein clots like that could travel to your lungs or heart. They're yeah. small. So Wanda says, if you get the chance to go to Parrot Mountain, it's a beautiful place to go visit. I've heard that. We spent hours there being in the trees with the different kinds of birds. That is something we need to look, look into. We're up there all the time. Mm-hmm. Just have never done it. Could not see in Townsend either. Are you talking about the storm or the wind storms the other day, or are you talking about in 2012? Because, yeah, I remember that one. We were in 90% of totality. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds fine. Sounds fine here. Seemed like most most people are hearing this and seeing us okay. That was me. It's working now. Sound, oh, okay. Praise all the way. Glad, it, glad it's working now. Yeah, I've seen it buffer a few times. It, it, when I look up at the phone, it'll say uh, reconnecting, and then you're live again. So I think that's happened every live stream we've ever done from here. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm watching the Reds play now. Dollywood ticket. I haven't got to watch a baseball game yet, but uh, season's young. My sound is fine now. I logged off and came back on. Now it's fine. Good. Glad to hear that. Ralph and Tamba Aggie sounds good up here in Floyd, Virginia. Okay, thank y'all for watching from, from Floyd, Virginia. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where we are again. Sound is good, sound is good. Our grand, the well, uh, right here, Floyd, Virginia. That's oh, okay. Um, our grandson is visiting, so we have Looney Tunes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I remember growing up watching that. We still watch some cartoons from time to time. Yeah. Um, it's, it's hard to find a cafeteria at all. It really is. It, it, there's not many. Um, what, Wanda, that was a good place to eat. We also had an S&S cafeteria. I, I remember S&S. Uh, I remember that. Raised on the road, there was a Morrison in Barbersville, West Virginia. The mall. I remember eating there when I was a kid. I wish I wish they would come back. They had the best apple dumplings. Ever you make apple dumplings now because of how they did it, yes, because of how they did it. Uh, everything good here in Georgia, both live stream and audio. Glad to hear that. Hello from traveling hand in hand. Good evening, y'all from Coleraine, Ohio. God bless, God bless you as well. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Uh, Bob Dollar said about 88% of Eclipse. From, was it really 88%? Wow. I'm, Where at? Dudley Shoals parking lot. I guess oh. it was school. Well, oh. we're about, what, 10 minutes from there? Yeah, I was just going by what NASA website said. And I thought it said 83 When I got off work at 3, I went outside and I couldn't even see the sun because of the cloud. And then finally, by the time I got home, it kind of started like a thin cloud went over. And I could see through the cloud a little bit. But, um... Hmm. OBS streaming software. Who said that? Terrible. I don't, I don't know what that's in reference to. That may be like... Oh, story. what I was asking mm-hmm. earlier. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, those lights. Okay. All right. We were trying to decide which campground to camp in. Looking at Case Cove, it can only go in June, July, or August. Will we be miserable? Or would you recommend waiting until September? We used to go the week of the 4th of July, and we've had it both ways. We've had it where it's hot, and we've had it where it was not. Um, I think September, if you're looking at Cage Cove, would be your best bet. Now, if I can give you an alternate, you want to go in uh, the summer months, go to either Mile High Campground, which is just outside the park, or Balsam Mountain, which is in the park. They're both on the same road. They're both over 5,000 feet up, and neither one of them gets hot, even when it's hot in the valley. I think when we went to uh, Mile High last year, it I think the high temperature it ever got was 69 degrees, and that was in, what, June? 
Yeah. Yeah. He bought a thermometer just to, to monitor the... the yeah, and it never uh, crested over 69 degrees. So um, I would... Uh, if you're going to go in those months, I'd go high. If you're going to go to Cades Cove, I may move, wait till um, September. I'll also tell you this. If you're going to go to Cades Cove, get a reservation. Don't just walk in. Yes, absolutely. And I can send you all the website if you if you need me to do that. But you, you want to reserve it. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't laugh at you about the live stream, but Christy is the brains behind it. I'll mess it. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. I think somebody else said OBS streaming software. I, I assume that's a reference to what I was asking y'all. Uh, but yeah, I was really impressed just with the way y'all were doing that. And I, uh, I, then I look at ours. It's like, I don't know how to do a lot, to be honest with you. Um, you can't even get it right to come up right a lot of the time. Yeah, we had trouble tonight, in, in <laughs> fact. Yes, I was here. The code was really bad. It, it was. That, we, we were scared. And it, it, don't, it takes a lot to scare me, but we, we were scared. Mm -hmm. Footprints in the pines. Hello. Uh, Going to be down y'all's neck of the woods sometime within the next month, uh, mm -hmm. probably. Uh, so um, maybe we can see y'all down there. Uh, enjoy meeting y'all the one time that we got to, but we are going to be back down in um, Cherry Grove area. Uh, hopefully not too much longer. They had to remove students from the dorms at Tremont. That Yeah, I, 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 I heard that. If you want, if anybody wants to read about it, there's a book that you can buy either probably online or in any visitor center in the Smokies called Into the Mist, Into, Into the Mist or Unto the Mist. Into, I think. Yeah, and it tells about death and destruction in the Smokies, honestly, and it's it's some, um, it covers the blizzard of 93, it covers those storms of 2012 that we were right in. Um, hey, Briggs and good to see you on here. Let's see. All right, Parrot Mountain is great. Okay, there's uh, Smoky Mountain Man Seconds, Parrot Mountain. I've been there several times. They share about the Lord there. That's uh, that's something good right there. Into, it's called Into the Mist. Po Who's the uh, author? Uh, Tales of Death and Destruction in Great Smoky Mountains. One up here. Um, some really, really good reading in that, just to be honest with you. David Brill. David Brill. And Into the Mist, Tales of Death, Disaster, and Mishaps. mishaps. By David Brill. Great book. It tells about uh, a lot of the things that have happened in the Smokies. And some of it is just like sad or like wow. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. The Adventures of Nanny and Pat. Hello, Ray's on the Road and VA Fun Seekers. Brooks, hope you see this sending you big hugs, hugs Christy, too. Absolutely. Hope you see this. See, I think we were 99% here. Wow. Our solar so lights. Bruce, nice. the Lord is your comfort and strength. Amen to that. Yes, yeah, strength and shield. Carolina Smoke Barbecue has all you can eat crab legs on Saturdays. I would like to see a review of the seafood buffet. Uh, so you probably must have seen our review two weeks ago, or is it three from there? We actually did just go there, but it was yeah, Friday night. Friday night, meat fest. And we did say in that video that we want to try the crab legs. So, that is something we will be doing at some point uh, real soon. We've been to two places in Morganton recently that we just really, really liked. Uh, and they're, they're offering something uh, on the weekend that was the Tomahawk Steak. Bones Jones Bones is. Bones Jones had a Tomahawk uh, Steak. Four pounds. Folks, that place, so it's for that, two that place I can't even put it into words. Yeah, the, the that primary. It's like, I'll just yeah. eat it there. If, if that, I mean, it was that. If that place was in our town, I'd be there probably three times a week. And I'd be broke. So yeah, it's like they got uh, burgers. That yeah, all that fresh organic meat. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Yeah. Or it is great. But we do want to go to Carolina Smoke and um, try the crab legs. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, what was the price on that? It's probably a lot cheaper than you get them at the beach. It was. Um, I don't remember. I want to say thirty four ninety nine maybe. You mean say? Yeah, I think so. I think just the buffet was twenty four. Hold on. Then I think you add ten dollars for the crab legs, if I'm not mistaken. What was that, Car uh, Carolina Smoke? That's uh, Zeke Smith. Uh, no, I was just trying to look up the. Um, okay. Website. Yes, it was an answer to what you were asking about the pit. Yeah, okay. Uh, I thought I thought so. Casting and chat in the lower third. I just thought that that looked really good. Tammy says we watched all of your camping videos a few times. Balsam. 
Mile High, Smoke Mall, and Kate's Cove. All great videos. Plus, love the walk throughs and making a list of sites. Yeah, I try to do that just to be helpful. Um, the seafood Saturday buffet from five to nine, all you can eat twenty four ninety five. All you can eat crab legs for an additional ten dollars. So thirty four ninety five. Is what yeah, you said. I bet you can't get that anywhere at Myrtle Beach uh, for that price. I, maybe I'm wrong. And I don't know what kind of seafood they have on the buffet. Yeah, but Tammy, um, just when you're doing a research on a campground, you might want to visit. See what the elevation of it is. If it's three thousand feet or above, you're probably gonna have pretty good weather even in the hottest months. Um, now, Shaughnessy will tell you Cataloochee, which sits about 2,600, can get very cold at night in the summer. We did not plan for what we got last time we camped there. It was a warm summer day, and that night, I told her, I said, we're not even going to pitch the tents. We're not going to be here one night. We're going to Cades Cove. Let's just sleep on our cots, and we'll put the screen house up. A screen house. We li well, I know, but if this is summer, we literally, yeah. I, if it didn't drop into the upper 30s that night, then my name ain't... <laughs> What it is, it we was froze so to cold, death. Yes. Uh, but I did not know it was going to drop down like that. But I don't know if that was just that night or if that's the way it usually does. But goodness, um, let's see. Looking forward to our trip to Gatlinburg this May. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I hope traffic is not like it was. Near, we just went near spring break. I'm sure it won't be that bad. Hopefully, Dollywood ticket holder. Thanks to your video, of Mr. Ledbetter. I was able to find some new things in Cades. Thanks mm -hmm. to Mr. Ledbetter, we were too. That. We learned uh, a lot. He is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the cove. He, his family is it was from there. Probably one of the most informative videos we've ever done. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. He came over to visit us because he watched our channel. He was very nice. He brought he had he shows up in a McDonald's bag, and I thought he was bringing me an egg McMuffin or something. <laughs> and what it was, he was bringing us some uh, grape jelly that was from grapes that had come from the cove or mm -hmm. something to that effect. And some honey that uh, was basically the bees that made that honey were descendants of his family's bees in Cades Cove. And he's just sitting there talking. I said, you know what? I told him, I said, we got a video here. <laughs> yeah. And I said, if we can get him to ride through here, I said, would you go through there with us and just talk? And he said, yes, I'll bury it. I'll drive. <laughs> so I told him, I said, I'll pay you for the gas. So he stops the car and looks at me. He says, you can't pay me for the gas. I said, you're, you're the driver. But, uh, yeah. It, it, and that that book was amazing, all that information. Yeah. It's like he, he, I was holding the book, and as he was pointing things out, it was right in line with that book. It's like he, he knew. Exactly. Probably one of the best drives we've ever had through the country. Yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. He's got a, good, he's got a sense of humor, too. Mm -hmm. uh, he, yeah, we, we loved it. We loved it. Um, and we actually, when we went back at Christmas, we were going to take him out for supper for his travel, and he, he takes off to Florida. So, yeah, we uh, need to meet up with him. Yes, we do. Uh, let's see. Edward Dillard, welcome to Moonshine and Marijuana Side. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rick, about t shirts in the South. Speaking of Morganton, we love Abel's <laughs> for breakfast or dinner. We've eaten at Abel's maybe twice. Um, I will say they probably have the most wide variety selection of burgers. I bet they got thirty different kinds of burgers they on the menu. They have a lot, yeah. Um, we did go there for a burger here. We don't, you know, we don't live in Morganton, but we do go to church near Morgan, so mm -hmm. we're there some. Um, we live about 20, 20 some miles from there, but uh, yeah, Abley's has a lot of burgers, um, a lot of varieties, different kinds that you wouldn't think of. Tammy, oh yeah, watch Catalucci too. That too remote for us newbies. It is that, but I've never been to a quieter campground. I'll say that. If you just want something just to hear the sound of a river, that's the one to go to. But, yeah, it's a long way from town if you forget something. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yes, the mountains get cold at night. Yeah, but we were in a valley. We were at pretty low elevation. That's what shocked us about it, uh, how cold it got down in the valley. Uh, can't wait to try Bones Jones. Really enjoyed y'all's review of it. Let us know when you go. I want to know what you think of that. Um I got the rib I steak, and you got the prime rib. And mm -hmm. I, I took a bite of hers. She took a bite of mine. I would say that prime rib was better than any we've ever had. It was so and, good. And uh, the, the rib I steak was up there. Now, they've also got a big old, it's like a beef rib. It looks like a big hatchet. I mean, it, the, the meat hunk on it's that big. And I saw that on some other people's plates. I want to try that when I go to. There's like several things we'd like yeah. to try there. And unfortunately, it's about 30 miles from where we live. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, that was one of my favorite videos yours. I have watched it several times. A lot of good information in it from him. Yeah. 
Yeah, from Luke, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rex, we used to go every year in July, but about 20 years ago, we started going October 3rd week, so glad we came. You talking about to, um, I guess you're talking about to Gatlinburg. October, I guess the, the third third week, that would be like the most peak time for the leaves, though, yeah. would it not? Yeah, it would, or third time like case a lot, of, a lot of people there that time of year. It's yeah. a beautiful time yeah, to go. Yeah, he said two gallons. Yeah, it's a beautiful time to go. Mm -hmm. That's about when most of your leaf lookers are there. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. We're having all kinds of uh, problems tonight. Uh, it looks like we just went off again, that it said unable to connect, but it's back, I think. So if we do go off again, to, uh, I apologize. Um, mm -hmm. Our fur baby, here's your fur baby. Oh, yeah. Well, hello back hey. to him as well. Mm -hmm. um, just, I don't know why they can't behave when we're doing a live stream. Uh, if we weren't doing this, they wouldn't give us the time of day. You know, and, but now... Renmar's like just standing at me. Yeah. I hear a little whimper every once in a while. It's like, why? <laughs> uh, so I don't think I missed anything. Just be remember to be prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weather can change in the mountains in five minutes. Storm can pop up out of nowhere. Harris Last Resort, we tried one live and it was a flop. We really got to study more on it. Y'all's looks good on our side. Good. Christie's looked good the other night as well. Mm -hmm. Y'all are all pros. Well, I, I appreciate that. I don't know that. We're not pros. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate your words there. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Was that live the one where before Christmas when y'all were sitting on your couch? I don't know if that was a live no, or not. I don't think that was live. I, we didn't see it live. I know that. I think that's the one where y'all first mentioned uh, our names. But I do remember uh, watching that. But I, didn't, I don't know if I saw y'all's live or not. Uh, just try it again. We don't never know what we're really going to talk about a lot. We just get on here and people start asking us things. Yeah, we, we wait to hear what you guys yeah. want to talk about. And we about. just enjoy the conversation, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Hey, y'all, hope you have a great week. Same to you, Michael. Appreciate that. Stephen Bessinger, just curious, how did you come up with your dog's names? Well, the one we've had the longest, Rovier, uh, that is, do you want to tell that or do you want me to tell it? Go ahead. She is all. I never wanted an indoor dog, and I always thought dogs belonged outside. But I realize now that breeds like Yorkshire Terriers can't be outside. Uh, too many things uh, can happen. So she brings him home. We got him in two thousand nine. He will be fifteen years old next month. And what are you going to name it? Tell me what she's going to name him. Rover. Rover. <laughs> I said no. We're we're not. That's not a name you give a Yorkshire Terrier. You give that dog name to a dog that shows up on your front porch and you don't know what kind it is. I said, we're not going to name, name him Rover. So she comes back and says, well, how about if I liven it up a little bit, Rovier? French. Made it up. So <laughs> it's just a made up name. Uh, so we got another Yorkie in 2013 who was a rescue. He had some things wrong with it. He had some mobility issues. Uh, his name was Pierre. We named him Pierre. Don't know why. We just thought it fit him. And uh, he became like my best friend. And uh, we had him for over six years and uh, his health declined. And, and we lost him in 2019. So we got Renmore in 2020. So I think at that time I wasn't really ready for another dog. I wasn't ready to let go of Pierre. So I'm thinking I want to do something to keep his memory alive. So I'm obviously not going to give him Pierre's name. But what would remind me of Pierre? Well, the artist Pierre Renoir. Uh, didn't realize what all he painted at the time. I just heard of him. Uh, but uh, we just decided that whenever we said the name Renoir, that we would think of Pierre coming before him. So that's how he got that name. The next dog we get is going to have a much more uh, It'll have a sophisticated name. name, but it'll be... I, I've already told if we ever get another pug, we're going to name it Pug Norris. So... <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how that started. He was, he was going to be named Rover, and I wouldn't have it. So uh, that's that. So uh, Brenda B., how is this? Let's see. Brian feeling? Yes, hope he's feeling better. Chris Hayes, thanks for all the help planning our holiday at Cincinnati Airport, heading home after three wonderful weeks. Thanks. I wish we could have gotten to meet up with you. I really do, because... Um, I don't know how often you get over here, but you know, you're on the other side of the pond. So, uh, but I'm really glad that, uh, the, okay. Yeah. I want to read the rest of the comment. The Depot. Yes. And Dobson and Capone's were the best of your recommendations. I'm so glad you enjoyed those. Uh, did you, 
have anything that we recommended that you didn't enjoy. We want to know that too, because we want to know maybe what, maybe we didn't have a, a negative experience, but if there's something that needs to be pointed out. Um, but I'm glad that you had a great trip um, over here, three weeks. I uh, hope you have a safe, uh, safe trip home, safe flight home. Rick, all about t-shirts and or about t-shirts in the south. You guys still need to try Bocelli's Italian in Waynesville. It's the best. One. It probably is. Um, I don't have an aversion to try it. It's just it's hard for me when I'm in Waynesville not to go to the Smokehouse or to um, J. Arthur's. But we do need. We're gonna we gonna be in Waynesville a lot, so we do need to try that. But Bo, Bo, Bocelli's or Bocelli's, whichever it's pronounced, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Uh, we will. Sorry, your North Carolina State lost on Saturday. They had a good, they did. I, you know, I told her, I said, I'm not as crushed as I normally would be because I was not even expecting to be in the tournament. And good night. They made the final four. They exceeded expectations. They came up against a team that's just running over everybody. So I, I'm proud of them. Uh, nothing to hang their heads about. Uh, Brian B is, is not going to appreciate your prayers. We'll remember that too. Uh, Harris Last Resort Adventures. It, sure how far y'all are bandy creek was an excellent campground i'm not sure if i've heard of that it was recommended to us by a neighbor camper at elkmont okay i have to look that up bandy creek i have to look i'm not i'm not sure where that's at raise on the road we love seeing your pups thank you for that only they're just really small aging adult dogs this one here is almost 15 the other one's 10 or 11 no, is he 11 10 now He's another rescue, so we don't know. But they said he was seven when we got him, and we got him in 2020 after losing Pierre. Mm -hmm. So I put him almost 11 now. Wow. Yes, yeah. And this one here that I'm holding normally does not want to be held, but tonight he does. He's, you can't see it really, but he's resting his head on my hand. That is like so unusual for him. <laughs> so you kind of hate to not He's a move. little spunky. I mean, if I, if I was messing with him right now, he'd growl at me. Yeah, I think he's tired. Yeah. I think he wants to just... He's going to make a liar out of it. He just wants right? to be part of yeah. the show. That's what he is. <laughs> Can't wait until your camping videos and Darnell Farms visits start. We're, I really enjoy those. Well, we're definitely going to be doing those those things. Mm -hmm. uh, if anybody's in the Bryson City area, you've got to go to Darnell Farms. They've pretty much got something going on all the time in the warmer months. They do, and those dream wheels. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Those are so good. As a fellow Braves fan, I'm sure you know this is the 50th. Yeah, I actually was thinking about that at work today. Remember, I, I, I asked you that last year we, on April 8th. We were heading down to the Amish store in Hamptonville. Oh, yeah. Remember, I said, what is today in baseball history? You looked at me like, I don't know. <laughs> today is 50 years. I should have asked you again. Oh. Hank Aaron became the home run king. He is hit number 715. All right, Stephen, without looking it up. Who did he hit it off of? Who were they playing, and what was the final score of the game? Let's see if you see. If, I'm sure you probably do know that, but I'm gonna throw those out there. The pitcher, the team he hit it off of, and the final score. Don't look it up now, because uh, I know it, and I'm not gonna look it up. But yes, today, April eighth, 1974. That's, that's correct. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, he's still the king of it. Would have been great. Chris says, it would have been good to have met you guys, too. All your recommendations were good. Didn't have a bad meal in three weeks. That's great. Maybe next time we come. We'll come in May next time some more things are open. Yeah, that'd be great. Just uh, let us know ahead of time. Um, we could probably be persuaded pretty easily to go to the depot if you want to go back there because uh, uh, we look for reasons to get up there. Yeah. Uh, just joining in. Love your videos. By the way, what type of editing software do you use? Um, well, on my computer, I, it's called Magix, M-A-G-I-X, Movie Edit Pro. And on my phone, we have, it's just called U-Cut. Uh, it's really, really basic, to be honest with you. Uh, and I have to keep things kind of basic because some of these do things that I don't even understand. So uh, get pretty good results from both of them. Uh, but thank you for your kind words. Doris Riley says, hello from Shelbyville, Kentucky. Good evening, Doris. My husband and I love watching and appreciate the lives you live for Christ. Such a blessing. Thank you. That's a blessing to us uh, to have you say that. Tammy says Darnell Farms is a must. It absolutely is. Smoky Mountain Man, he just wants to be a YouTube star. Yes. That's what it is. He already is. On my other channel, I, I actually had other channels that we don't really upload to anymore. 
Um, I got several of him. I got one of him attacking windshield, trying to attack windshield wipers. He don't like windshield wipers. Um, and another one, he doesn't want to share his tree. Yeah, another one, he doesn't want to share his tree. A lot of people chastise me on that one for letting him act like that. But, I mean, he's five pounds. What's he going to do? Uh, I'll need to send you some of those links. But he's been on YouTube for years. Uh, and some people love him and some people criticize his actions and us as owners for letting him act like that. But uh, I'll send you some links later. Uh, let's see. Gatlinburg, Sean Hussey. Hello from Gatlinburg. Good evening, Sean. Hope you're well. Stephen Bessinger, Al Downing, the Dodgers, but don't remember the score. That's two out of three. Braves won seven to four that night. That's good, though. Uh, that's, you got two out of three. Uh, Rays on the road. Hi, at Doris Riley. We're in Louisville. We're going to come review Giovanni's in Shelbyville. I didn't know there were still Giovanni's left. We used to have them everywhere down here, and I loved them. Oh, uh, no, we, we don't have any. We haven't had any in years. Terrell says, watched your video the other day on Tom and Earl's Back Alley Grill. Want to try that burning bear with extra jalapenos. That was not as hot as it was made out to, to the be. The cheese, yeah, but the jalapenos is what gave it its kick. No. I don't think there was a lot of ghost pepper in the cheese, mm -hmm. just to be honest with you. But, um, because I was going to get it, but the waitress kind of scared me. She said, oh, it's pretty stout. And that night, I, I like hot stuff, but not that late. So I, I didn't, but I would get it next time. Smoky Mountain, sounds good. I will look forward to watching them, Derek. Yeah, uh, you, you will, <laughs> when you see how he acts, you might have second thoughts. So let me just say it that way, um, about being around him, but, uh, We'll, we'll see. They are all over eastern Kentucky where we're from. Wow. We're so happy the one open here is central Kentucky. We love them. Mm. Ghost pepper cheese is hit and miss on heat. Well, yeah, this one was definitely a miss. I mean, it was good, but just wasn't hot. Uh, well, we are caught up, I do believe. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all right. So, Doug Smoke. Hey, y'all. Doug and Dana from Pittsburgh. Good evening. Have y'all ever done any camping in a small place called Mortimer, Mortimer, North Carolina? No, but I know where it's at. Uh, well, I'll take that back. My dad used to actually have a little, I don't, remember, I don't remember it. He's told me about it. It was a cabin or a camper up in the Globe and Mortimer area. I haven't been up there in 20-some years, probably. Uh, we did years ago to have the Brown Mountain Lights pass there. That would be something to see. That would be something. I've never, we live near it, but I've never seen the Brown yeah, Mountain Lights. Either. Uh, you hear about them. But that's a pretty drive in the fall up through Globe and Mortimer and Edgemont mm -hmm. up in that area. It's a, it's a remote part of the county that we just don't get over too much. It's in our county. Uh, but I'm, I'm impressed that you would know where Mortimer's at. Most people probably right here don't know where Mortimer's yeah. at. Uh, it's really not maybe 20 miles from here. But uh, All right, guys. What do y'all want to talk about? Just uh, hit, us with, hit us with something. Question, comment, criticism. Let's try to keep the criticisms. To <laughs> yeah. What's the Brown Mountain Lights? I don't know if anybody actually knows. Um, I'm, I'm going to see what Google says, but go ahead. Google Paul. that, but Brown Mountain is in the Blue Ridge Mountains outside of Blowing Rock. Uh, I don't know if it maybe technically is in Burke County or Caldwell County where we live. I don't remember which county. There's a weird phenomenon at certain times some strange unexplained lights start shining. <laughs> Read it. Okay, so this is Wikipedia. It says the earliest published references to strange lights that are from around 1910. At about the same time, electric lighting was becoming widespread in that area. Um, the first thing it says they're, they're purported to be ghost oh, lights. Oh, I didn't say that, yeah. yeah. Um, with the original signs of the early 20th century have been explained, storytellers have been creating imaginary pre-electrification histories of the lights ever since. Look, this is not something that they can explain by electricity. There is there's some weird stuff, and I don't know what's all behind it, but it might be something natural causing it, some kind of something in the air that mixes with something else. I don't know, but a lot of people have seen those lights just out of nowhere. And and I, I've i only seen, like, little videos and stuff, but they'll look like little lights, and they look like they're kind of swirling like this in on yeah. the mountains. I wonder if there's any, I have never looked at YouTube for videos of it, but I'm going to. Yeah, that's kind of piqued Yeah, my, I hear some. That's, some I'm going to watch some of those. That's piqued my curiosity. Fishers are grandma. I don't know that anybody's ever explained what they are or knows what they are. Uh, Gatlinburg Hussey, speaking of Aaron, in 1985, I had a chance to buy a rookie Aaron card in Cooperstown. 
New York, but I bought a Dwight Gooden rookie instead. He was the best. I remember Dwight Gooden started off good. Unfortunately, his career took a nosedive. Uh, but yeah, he had a lot of potential. So biggest mistake ever. I understand. Uh, Philip, I know you have visited several Amish stores and I want to go to one. Do you have a favorite store in its location? Yo, was that Yoder's? Yeah. Was amazing. And the one in Limestone, which is, help me. Troyers. Troyers. Limestone, Tennessee, near Jonesboro. Those are hard to beat. Those are hard to beat. One in North Carolina was good. Maybe not quite, you know, uh, on the same level. But uh, we actually ate the deli sandwiches at the one in Bulls Gap, and that was Yoder's. I'm not kidding. They put meat on there that thick. I mean, they were. What they charge you as well. Well, well worth the money. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's like a five, eight second delay on that. Mm. Um so I would say those two are, are our favorites. Um, Smoky Mo, did you ever get your drone fixed? I sent the drone off to get fixed. Um, they basically replaced it. I had to pay you $115. I think maybe the one I had was not fixable, but they sent me, I believe it's a brand new one. It was sealed in the box and plastic and everything. I believe I, I, believe I got a new drone, not a refurbished one for about 115 bucks. So I told her, I'm going to start crashing them just so I can get a new one. No, I'm not going to do, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but I'm, I'm doing studying now. Uh, going to be getting that license in, in the near future so that I don't get stalked by one or two people that have been uh, reprimanding me about drone footage in the videos. I've had to quit doing that. Uh, I want to start doing it again. So uh, let's see. Sounds like a good idea for a vlog. Um, oh, what, what, what's, on, what's he referring to there? It's a good idea for a vlog. Right. Oh, yeah. Not. Yeah, but you don't ever know when they're going to appear. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We might go up there for a month every night and not, not see a thing. It's just, I wonder if there's certain times of the year. I don't know. I was just reading where somebody had set up cameras. I, and living here, I should know more about it than I do. But you just, I've heard people for years talk about they've seen the brown mountain lights. Look, they can say that that was people getting electricity all they want to. They they've got electricity all over the mountains now. You don't see like see that anywhere else. So, um, not everything can just always be explained. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. Um, all right. So, Brian B. Tom House caught the home run, and Dusty Baker was on deck. I caught tail end of the answers. So you might have already discussed that. My first Reds game, Aaron hit seven for him off Jack Billingham. Now, I couldn't have told you who he hit the, uh, the tying home run off of, but I did know who he hit 7.15 off of. But that, that's interesting. Thank you for that. Uh, I'll tell you, that had to be an exciting moment for Hank Aaron. If you ever watched it, a scary moment, too, because fans just start rushing the field. And you don't ever know what some you know nut might do. But... Um, because he had a lot of people. Realize he had received a lot of threats if he ever broke Babe Ruth's record, but just because he was a black man, which is pathetic. A uh, um, man goes out there, works hard, and earns it. As far as I'm concerned, Hank Aaron's still the home run king because um, he did it the right way without without juicing up and all that. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get off on all that tonight. But yeah, um, that was a major accomplishment, and um, I wish I'd been there that night. But I was only I was only five then. Not quite five. Let's see. Me again. They looked like golf balls. They were they were greenish yellow, no sound. Thousands of them grouped together, but not touching. Yeah, that's kind of what I've uh, what I've heard. I'm I'm gonna watch some videos on that tonight. But more commonly seen during rain events. Okay. Felicia, I had an awesome ribeye and baked potato from Logan's Roadhouse yesterday. That's good. I got their ribs the last time I went. I've not been to Logan's in a while. I was trying to review on your page. Do you have one? No, we do not. Uh, last time I went to Logan's was with my mom, and that was in Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach. Well, it is long before we started doing this, to be honest with you. So we have not actually been to a Logan's. We don't have one near us, but I know of. Hickory doesn't have one. Is there one in Statesville? There is, I think there is or was, but uh, how often do we go to Statesville yeah. just to eat? Uh, Brenda B., I listened to you teaching and Danny's preaching last night. I enjoyed it, but he cut the cameras off. Yes, he did. <laughs> In the middle of his preaching, so I didn't get finished listening to him. Um, I just, I can't say what was said, but 
basically the message was over. You heard the entirety of the message. He basically had to talk to the church a little bit about some things going on. And that's just, that's where I have to leave that. But it was, you, you did hear the message, but uh, he just had to deal with some things that have come up. And um, yeah, I don't really know what else I can say. Uh, yeah. But it, it wasn't something that he wanted out there on the internet. I'll just put it that way. Um, nothing bad, just some problems that and issues that have come up that just needed to be um, talked about. Um, I look forward to seeing more drone video footage. I look forward to making more. I love your drone videos. Oh, so what I think I'm going to do until I officially have the license, I have begun the study to get it. I'm thinking about setting up a secondary non-monetized channel because I can do that all day long and upload and nobody can say anything. It's only when I incorporate them into videos that are monetized. And I already got a name for the channel. Or I should say, let me uh, correct that. It's only when I upload them to a channel that's monetized. It. What I thought I was doing was okay because I thought, well, when I make drone videos, I'm not monetizing those videos. I don't know. Somebody let me know that... Uh, yeah. You never know. Somebody's going to just get spiteful. So I don't want to do things the right way. So anyway, we're thinking about setting up another channel where I can just upload them as, as an amateur channel, you know, until I get that license. And then they're going right back on this one. So, um, but yeah, I, lo I love doing it. Um, I will not make... What? Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I will not make the mistake again that I made that day I lost it in the snow. And that was a miracle in and of itself that I found it. We went back to the room. I had given up hope. It was, it's on the side of a mountain somewhere. How do you know what tree to start with when you know you crashed it into the side of a mountain? Uh, but I said, well, on my phone, it puts all the files on my phone. So I said, well, I'm just going to go back and watch the last footage it ever took. As it's falling to the ground, there's a cabin with a porch. An unusual porch. And I had to basically stop that clip right there because it was actually like real quick. Take a screenshot of it. And enlarge it and say, we got to find a porch. I said, we got a shot here. Still like finding a needle on a haystack. And there's a foot of snow on the ground. So the guy takes us in his four-wheeler up the mountain and says, I, as far as I can go, he says, I'll let you We just started walking. We finally found that cabin. And then we're still in woods and there's shrubs and everything everywhere. So I, I, line, I look at the picture. So I try to stand exactly where I'm seeing the same trees at the same angle. I said, it's got to be right here. And she spotted it. That was that was a, a miracle that we found that. Day. It was. Um, polar bear mama, hello. So we got a koala bear and a polar bear in here tonight. Mm -hmm. Polar bear. Ray's on the road. Matt just said he saw an episode of Unsolved Mysteries about the Brown Mountain Monster. Now that would be neat to see. Mm -hmm. Was that one of the old ones with Robert Stack on there? Man, that guy had the voice for Unsolved it was Mysteries. Perfect for that show. Yeah. Um, he made it spooky. I have to try to look that up. See if I can find that too. After we watched your video at Sheets, we ran down to our Sheets and got some milkshakes. Thanks for showing us how. So y'all got a Sheets in Wilkesboro too? I did not know that. Where's it at? I'm assuming 421. Everything's on 421. <laughs> it had to be at 421. So I went to Sheets this morning yeah. um, on my way to a doctor's appointment. Stopped by his workplace. He wanted a watermelon slushie. Yeah, that wasn't no good. Don't bring me no one of those. Okay. And <laughs> then, I asked her too. And then they had a coconut latte, which is, I thought was really good. And then they had the big snack pretzels, and you get dipping sauces. Now those were good. Those so I got him a, a salted one with nacho cheese, and then I got a cinnamon sugar one with the Cinnabon cream cheese icing. Yeah, they were good. They've got a lot of flavors of milkshakes, and unlike Cookout, they know how to make them where you can drink them. Cookout mm -hmm. makes them uh, thick. You, I usually end up damaging my straw before I can ever even get it up through yeah. the straw. I usually end up eating mine with a spoon. Cookout doesn't, they don't understand that, uh, that people want to drink their milkshake. But sheets, that, those are perfect, mm -hmm. man. Those are perfect. Um, let's see. Susan Cram, Brown Mountain Lights are spooky. We had property here where orbs would pop up about 25 feet in front of you and bop along and disappear. Makes you pray and get the truck fast. Huh. Now, I've read on orbs. I think that's, isn't that one a dust particle or something and, and moisture, light hits moisture in the air? Yeah, maybe. And maybe a dust particle. I, I, I'm not sure what causes that in like some photos. You get some orbs sometimes. Yeah, I've seen them in, in photos. I, I do not believe orbs are, are, are people's spirits. I, yeah. I, I don't believe that for a minute because um, when we leave here, we go to heaven or hell mm -hmm. you know, and we're not hanging around. But yeah, there, there's some things that are just out there that can't really be explained. I don't think naturally, but... Um, yeah, I imagine that would get you in the truck fast. Uh, let's see. 
You can't use drone foot. No, uh, I found that. I didn't know it when I first started. Uh, you cannot use drone footage in monetized videos unless you have what's called the Part 107 pilot's license. Once you got that, you're good to go. Um, always something to make you spend a little money. Uh, and it's about $175 to take the test. You have to pass it. And once you get you that license, you can put all the drone footage in there you want to. Now, I would never say anything to anybody that does it because I've done it. Uh, I mean, good night. A little a little minute clip flying over a river. Who 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 is that hurt? You know. But anyway, um, that is the law. So as I've been informed, we were at ninety eight percent in Indiana. Wow. Yes, he said it was an old one with Robert Stack. Yeah, uh, I, I'd like to look that up. Mm -hmm. Corner of 16 and 420. Okay, all right, right as you go up to West Jefferson there. All right. It's been a while since I've actually been that far up. Terry says, just be careful. I've seen FAA send warning letters to people that don't have a monetized channel. I, yeah, but I don't see what they can do. Uh, when asked why they say it's because YouTube makes money off of it. Well, when, when somebody first mentioned it to me, I actually emailed FAA about it. And what they told me was if it's a monetized channel. I will save that email if I ever have any trouble doing it. I will say, here's what y'all told me. Um, but because YouTube makes money off the videos. Well, I mean, that's that's between them and YouTube. That's not between them and me. Um, but I do have the email where they said just because the channel's monetized, I wouldn't need it to include it. Um, so I'll save that email if I ever need it. Hey there, I just tuned in. Hope y'all are doing well. We're doing well, Judy. Hope you are. Uh, glad you could join us. We're going to be on here maybe another 20 minutes or so. We'll have to get off about nine because somebody's not been feeling well today. So uh, I was wanting to get to bed a little early. Um, we have a lot of sheets near us. Yeah, well, they're out of Pennsylvania. So uh, in that area, they were up north. I would think that uh, there would be a lot of them. They're starting to expand south now. So they're pretty much popping up all over now. Yeah, they are. We've got several around here as well. So I think I would say like uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, New Jersey, areas like that, there would be a lot. And then, yeah. gosh, we've got one in Hickory now. Yeah, that one's been there for um, a couple of years. That's been there for a couple of years. There's several around here, just our hometown. So I never thought we'd get one. We're growing. Yeah. Melody, hey, hello from Melody. Yeah, good evening. Hey, First time I heard of Sheets, ice cream milkshakes look good. They were great. They were very good. So, Especially the cheesecake. Uh, yeah, so um, I've been messaging Rob. Uh, about uh, y'all's visit looking forward to that so we'll talk more as that approaches raise on the road i'm glad you told us that we had no idea yeah well i didn't either till somebody showed up in my live stream one night so uh, that that got me to um researching a little bit uh and then another youtuber also somebody who didn't like him turned him in uh and he got he actually got a call from the faa for I'll tell you what his footage was. The peach there in Gaffney, South Carolina. He literally took the drone and just went up to get a view of the peach and come back down. Somebody turned him in because, again, it's those miserable people who just aren't happy. Uh, and we have a few people that don't like us, too. So I have no doubt, you know, that, that it would happen. So, um, let's see. Philip said he's um, getting sleepy, so he's going uh, go to bed. Well, good so night, Philip. We're getting sleepy, too, Philip. Mm -hmm. uh, that puppy has made me sleepy. Have a good night till next time. Where's the next camping adventure plan? Any new gear? No new gear as of yet, but um, probably Arcades Cove. Uh, hopefully we'll get one in before that, though. Hopefully so. Yeah, but that's, that's the one we have reservations for already. Mm -hmm. We love sheets. Wish they had them in Kentucky. Yes. Uh, Prevost Claws. I guess I pronounced that from right. From the Grace Chapel Road. Hey, cheers from Grace Chapel Road. Oh, wow. Just down the yeah, road from very us. close by. Yeah. Uh, we actually... Um, across the lake, we can actually see in Granada Farms in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, wow! So we got some, we got quite a few locals too. Yeah. yeah. Hello, guys, just joining in. Hope you're having a good evening. Did you get to see any of the eclipse? We just saw partial here at Independence. Love your channel. Not much. It was very cloudy. Could see a little bit through the um, clouds, the thin clouds, but. We didn't have, I don't know, again, what somebody said our percentage was 80 something, 83, I think. Or, 84, something like that. I didn't, I would not have guessed that, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't as spectacular here as I'm sure it was in a lot of areas. 
I don't see any problem with even monetized videos without the part where it's, if it's just for your use, not selling, but FAA got to have their, that's, that's, that's what it is exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if anybody has any fun, somebody's got to figure out a way to profit off of it. I love flying the thing. Uh, some of the scenery you get is absolutely amazing. I'm not pulling down the ones I already had put up unless I'm just made to. They're, they're staying. Um, so um, I, I haven't made a dime personally off of it. And that's okay. I, that's not why I'm doing it. Um, I just started watching how to choir get together. So maybe we'll get a sheets in South Carolina or South Georgia. Yeah. Are they not? So I guess they're not down that far yet. Oh. Yeah. I, our closest one, I guess, is Severable. Yeah, Sevierville. Or Florence. That's what I'm saying. Or Florence. I think Sevierville is a little closer. But the one that they're going to be putting in North Carolina yeah. is going to be down in Chapel Hill area, yeah, which is still not near us hours at all. From us. <laughs> We're nothing coming in our neck of the woods anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I think they said it was going to be in Mebbin. Uh, yeah. Well, that's two hours from here, mm -hmm. easily. Uh, yeah, Bucky's is an experience. Uh, yeah. Bucky's is an experience and a half. Um, We've been to what, seven, eight, nine of them now. Two in Texas. Uh, our first was Warner Robins. We've been to three in Florida. Yeah, I, I, I like them. I do too. Bandy Creek is in Oneida, Tennessee. Okay, yeah, well, I'm going to have to look that one up. Look that up. Wilkes County Sheets of the Corner 16. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you mentioned that right there as you're going up in, I guess, uh, uh, cricket area uh, going up towards West Jefferson. Yeah, okay. I haven't been up to that that far of 421 in a while. Wanda, that is ridiculous that people, yes, it, it really is. It really is. Steve White's grandson. Now, uh, is, let me ask you, is Steve still alive? I, I hope so. He was actually my first Sunday school teacher. When I first became a Christian back in the 80s, I got saved in the church that he was a Sunday school teacher in, and um, I knew his, both of his both of his sons, uh, Steve Jr. and what was it? Was like Chan Chandler, I think, something like that. So you're Steve, okay? So one of those would have to be your dad, then, unless he had a daughter. He did have a daughter. Well, I don't know. Help me on that. It's been a long time since I've seen Steve, but um, wow, Steve Watt's grandson. Okay, I rem I remember Steve very well. Um, Banjo, good evening. Good to have you in here tonight. Michael, would love to hear y'all's testimony how y'all met one day in a video. You are in luck because we have already done that. Uh, search our channel, Our Journey Together, and we tell um, how we met, uh, some of the things that we've been through and how we got to where we are. Um, so, yeah, if you can pull that up and show That's what I, well, I was going to see if I could even put it in the chat. Uh, if you can do that, that's fine. But yeah, we do actually give give that uh, how we came to get married. It was it was not initially an ideal circumstance, but uh, God has um, blessed, and blessed it and used us, uh, and that's the main thing. We'd love to hear y'all's testimony. How are you two lovely couples doing? We're doing great. Hope you are. No drones in the Smokies, but that's correct. Uh, we don't fly in the national park. We do fly in Gatlinburg some. And outside the boundaries, but that is correct. We you are not allowed to fly a drone in the national park. So I put the link in there. I sorry, it doesn't say anything about it. I didn't. But that that is, if you want to hear our testimony, that's that's where you can find it. Yeah. Um, that video we that's one we probably prayed more about than any we've ever done, mm -hmm. and God has used it. We have had uh, ninety nine percent of the people who have watched that have written to us. We've had private messages saying that that their marriage, people in their marriage needed to hear what we had to say at that right time. A couple people tried to use it to tear us down. And it actually helped us too. You it, know. Yeah, it helped us too. It sure did. Well, now it's about 20 till 9. I didn't see that you guys were on until now, but I'll watch it anyway. Yeah, um, we're going to be going off about 9. but glad you uh, came in tonight. Uh, what? Koala there asked the question. Did you know of Hobo Shoe Is that the one that just passed away? Yeah. The guy, yeah. I, I, I did not, uh, but I saw where uh, Will had made mention of him. Yeah. So uh, I did read, read a little bit about him, but no, I, I didn't know who he was prior to that. Mm. Steve and Jane have both passed. Uh, my father is Chandler. Okay, yeah. So I, I, I remember your dad. It's very doubtful he would remember me. Uh, this would have been 1985, and uh, a lot of the young people... Uh, 
from Granite Falls Middle School started uh, being invited and taken to church by a couple from California. Uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, you wouldn't remember them uh, at the time because uh, Chan was uh, younger then. Um, we ended, I ended up uh, getting saved in that church and uh, I didn't like the youth class. I was 15 years old, but I liked to hear grandpa teach. So I would always sit in on his class. He taught the adults and uh, wow, that's something, that's, that's something. How long has um, Steve and Steve and Jane been gone? Um, I think the house we drove by when we were uh, taking the trash off the other day, I think that's where Steve lived. Yeah, the, the, the big house. Yeah. It's yeah. very pretty. Once you get out of five pretty. points and turn right, it's out there on the left, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, thank you, that's awesome. Yes, uh, check that out, and uh, I hope it's a blessing to you. Banjo Barbecue, do you have advice on drones? Yes, I do. Um, if you're going to upload drone footage to a monetized channel, make sure you have no enemies or make sure you have your Part 107 pilot's license uh, for legality reasons. The other one is don't let it get out of your sight or you'll do what I did and crash it into the side of a mountain. Is he asking about what kind to get? Uh, well, I'm getting to that. I do not know how to advise you on what kind to get. I basically got a refurbished DJI Mini 2 just because I didn't know if it would fly off and I'd never see it again, so I wanted to start with something basic. But it shoots excellent 4K footage for refurbished. I did damage that one. Just got got a replacement last week. Excuse me. Um, what kind I have, I'm happy with. It's small, compact, and light. But I'm sure there's higher higher dollar ones out there. But I would say get one that does 4K video. We have a Giovanni Pizza here three in the area. Wow. I'm not that impressed with them anymore. I haven't had one in a long time, so don't know how it used to be, but I used to really like them. The last one we had here, I liked. Uh, I'll get in touch with y'all sometime. Do that. Stop mm -hmm. by the farm sometime. My name is Jordan. That's awesome hearing about the old days. When you say the farm, are you talking about where I just mentioned? Like, we live close to the town. Fresh Chapel Road. Yeah, we live close to town. If you know where Domino's Pizza and all that is. So if we come down Dudley Road and turn right there at Five Points, that's Grace Chapel Road. You're talking about out there on the left. Um, we need to, uh, I think that's where you're talking about. That's where I remember him. Yes, the farm, big silo lighthouse. That answers a question. All right. I just thought that silo thing was so yeah. neat. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. didn't, didn't he use that lighthouse? Didn't he build that like as a prayer tower or something? That's what I had heard. Right. That, yeah. Um, I don't know that for sure, but I know that's what I had heard. My name is Jordan. Yeah, Steve passed in 2017. Jane passed oh, about a month ago. Wow. So, um, how is your brother, Steve Jr., doing? Um, they actually took over the youth group for a while, and then I know that um, I don't want to air your um, family business on here. I just know that he, he had some problems in marriage after that, So, uh, but I always liked him. I thought Steve was a, uh, Jr. was a great guy, too. Um, Yes, sir. Thank you. I have a DJI and it's hard to control. My mistake that day was n not keeping it in my line of sight, which you're supposed to do, and um, trying to get cute with it and go backwards with it. And I went backwards too far and crashed it into the side of the hill. Yeah. Uh, isn't the mini to under the weight requirement? Yes. That's why I thought I was okay. It, it weighs less than half a pound. But registering it is a whole different matter from being able to upload footage to a monetized channel, as I found out. I thought, well, I don't have to register. I don't have to ask anybody anything. That was my thinking. Uh, but that's not the way it is. So um, it's two, two separate issues. You don't have to register it if you're just going to fly it recreationally. But if you're going to upload anything to YouTube, monetize, then that's a whole different ballgame. Um, yeah, if you're just going to buy one to fly around in the field, I don't think you got to worry about anything. So you can fly it for fun. Yeah, I, I, that's my understanding. I mean, I'm don't, don't come to me for legal advice, but that is my understanding. You're not uploading it. You're just doing it as a hobby. Yeah. Uh, but still, there's, there's rules. You want to find out what your local ordinances are. There's no fly zones. You're not supposed to be near airports. Um, I'm trying to think of what else at the time being. You are supposed to keep it where you can see it at all times. Or have someone with you who is watching it. Yeah. But the see, the thing is, you can adjust your settings and have it fly a couple of miles away when you ain't going to see it that <laughs> far away. So, you know, um, you have to keep it under 400 feet in, in altitude. Uh, that's as high as you can go. 
Yeah, prayer time. I thought I thought it was. Banjo, thank you. What are your thoughts about another Ober type or Anakista type park they're building on the Gatlinburg Strip? More trees cut down, animals scatter. I haven't heard them build anything else there, but I, I think it's sad that yeah, they are making that's why we're seeing so many bears in town now. Yeah. Which I mean they're still the national park, I understand that. But yeah, I mean it's just sad. It's it's sad to see what, what is happening there. Um People wonder why the animals are on their property so much now. It's just like, well, you know, we're really taking their homes away. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Anakista or Ober, I've always liked Ober better. Uh, I think Anakista, personally. I know we all, I, well, it's been I a while since we've been yeah, to Anakista. I don't want to ruin it. It's, it. it's not something I feel like i got to do again. Well, what you know? year was it we went up there? Was it 2019? 2020? It not been that long, surely. Well, yeah, it must have been because we would have done a video. And we started this in 2020. Yeah, it must have been something. Yes, it's been a while. And I know they've added a lot just from other people's videos. What are your thoughts with another over? I got it from my channel. I ended up putting it back in the box, not flowing. It says, well, I hope that's not because oh. of what I said tonight. But I guess that was before. Just if you want to do it for your channel and your channel's monetized, just get that license and, and you're good to go. Uh, Steve is great. Still running the Hickory dealership. Can I email you guys? Absolutely. Uh, do, you, do you have our email? Uh, if you don't, let us know and we'll uh, put it. I'll put it here in the chat. Just the It makes me nervous, Cindy, watching David fly his drone. David's the reason I had to have one, just <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, just seeing some of the footage, uh, I, I really I, I really enjoy it. You just get a whole di different perspective. Uh, and, yeah. Some places it's very easy to do. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, but where we were in the mountains, that was just a bad place for me to be trying to get fancy and um, exactly worse than moonshiners in my opinion that's our email right nc moon it's yeah I, I think you should capitalize uh, oh that don't matter does it not okay right. all right yeah exactly worse than moonshiners in my opinion our email address is 13 so there's our email address i don't see that oh yeah you can see me right mindy of chris about t-shirts told me that she does not like Anakista because she said they have a lot of bars drinking and alcohol up there. Hmm. I don't remember. They probably do. She wouldn't have said it. I just, I don't remember that. We went up there and ate at the smokehouse, which I thought was actually good. Uh, the brisket, I thought that was really good. We got to see a bear up there. Yeah. Um, but, and there's that little tower you climb up. That was pretty neat, but I just, I couldn't spend a day up there. And I, I don't remember the bars, but I'm not saying... I'm sure she's correct about we that. We just weren't looking for it. Yeah. yeah. Do you set a budget for meals on your videos? No. Uh, we generally, just to be honest with you, 90% of the time we know what we're going to get before we go somewhere. Not always, but usually we look at the menus ahead of time, kind of get an idea of what we're, and we kind of know what it's roughly what it's going to cost, you know, not, not figuring in the tip or anything. But, um, we really don't set a, I don't guess we set a budget, do we? No. I mean, we'll know if something's going to be expensive, but we're going. Like, if we're going to go somewhere expensive, we probably don't go anywhere for two, three weeks, you know, besides that or, or you know, fast food the rest of the time or something. But no, not not really. Um, um, just kind of whatever we feel like. We, we try to find somewhere that's going to get a good video that would bring some views that people, we, that we think people might be interested in. And food we want to eat. And food we want to eat, yeah. And again, you, you can't please everybody. We get criticized for the type of restaurants we go to. We get criticized for what we get. get. Uh, I never, ever, before we started this, thought I would have to defend how I eat a steak. That's like every week. I finally had to boot one guy because he was going to every video where I ate a steak running his mouth. So I finally said, okay, you are done. So um, I, don't, I don't have a lot of patience. Uh, a lot of people have more patience than me. Okay, and very few have less. That's just probably my, down, my downside. Um, but, um, no, we just go where we think people are going to enjoy and where we're going to enjoy, obviously, but where people are going to enjoy it and maybe be interested in going there themselves. Banjo says, oh no, nothing you said. It's just an El Cheapo one. Uh, I think I'm illiterate and just can't operate. Well, I'm not an expert, but I could, uh, cause I don't know if you want help from a guy that crashed it into the mountain or not, but, <laughs> um, I don't know much about all the DJs, if they're all similar, DJIs, if they're all similar or not. But 
you just download the app to your phone and pair it with the controller, and the controller pretty much takes care of it to me. I've, I've learned to land it like an expert. Uh, I can actually land it in my hand and catch it. Yeah. I cut myself one time trying that, but I finally learned, you know, don't, don't stick your fingers up when you're doing it. Um, uh, we got about six minutes left, so we're going to cover the comments that are here now. Uh, appreciate everybody else tuning in. Uh, but catch us next time on the comments. Um, Ted and Tina's Adventures. I lost my DJI Mini 4 Pro yesterday. Oh, I hate mm -hmm. to hear that. It hit the on the boat while filming the intercoastal waterway. It fell into the water. I do have insurance for it. It's a must. Yeah, that, that's, that's good insurance. advice. Yeah, That's good advice. I felt like I came out really cheap. I sent mine off for repair. It worked fine. So I just want, want to see if I could get that fixed. They just said, we're going to send you another one. $115. Mm -hmm. But the insurance is a good idea. Um, I, I'm sorry you lost it. I, I hate that. I'm, I'm glad you do have the insurance. I got to see two bears when we went down to Keista. Mm. They hang out a lot up there. I guess if I was a bear, I would too. I'll let too. <laughs> God bless y'all. Get in touch. Do that. By the way, thanks for all the great videos. That's how I got here in the first place. Jesus puts good people together. Amen to that. Thank you so much for, for that. Uh, but yeah, definitely send us an email. Thanks for the confirmation, Ray's on the Road. We love your food reviews because they're honest. Thank you for that. We're, we're always going to do that. Yeah. Uh, you got a right to know. There's no point in us just going and saying everything's wonderful. If it's not, we want to say that. We but, hope that it is. Yeah. But we don't, don't want to tell you everything's great. Then you go and it not be great. And then you say, well, why didn't you tell us? Uh, so, you know, that's, if you're not going to do an honest review, don't even, there's no point in bothering. Yeah. Um, you just need to keep doing what you feel the Lord's leading you to. Amen to that. Darrell, what was the barbecue restaurant y'all went to in Texas? Big portion down price. Cooper's Pit Barbecue. That was in the Fort Worth Stockyards. Would not go back. Um, not that the food was bad, but I, I felt like we'd been robbed, honestly. You talk about in Texas, they might used to hold up stagecoaches. I think they just do it a different way now. They hold up customers. <laughs> um, I, I felt like they were really shifty, to be honest with you, in the way they did business. Um, we do have, if we ever get back to Fort Worth, a place we're going to go called Goldie's Barbecue. I've heard nothing but great stuff. And about that was it. one of our options that we were just trying to figure out which one we wanted to go yeah. to. Yeah. So now we know. I've seen videos on Goldie's since then. I'm like, okay, slap myself in the face and let's go back now. Mm -hmm. Patience is a virtue. Yes, it is. Um, we all need more virtue in our lives. And uh, I have patience in most areas, but just when somebody wants to attack and tear down and degrade and criticize... I don't have time for that. Yeah. Don't have time for it. Uh, somebody don't like our channel, they don't have to watch it. You know, if they're going to watch it, we're not going to put up with Because I'll be honest with you, we, we reply, we try to reply to every comment. We don't always do it because it is getting harder to do with more subscribers. We try to at least acknowledge every comment some way. And that's honestly a couple hundred a week. Don't have time for trolls. Don't have time for them. They're not, they're not worth the time. So, um, have a great week, everyone. God bless. Good night, David, Cindy, and Carly. Um, I agree, Ray's on the run. I love their honesty. All right, guys, so hold up with the comments. I'm going to cover these, and we do have to say good night because she's got to get to bed. Do you know the A1 steak sauce and Chris? No, I, that's just Smoky Mountain, man. I'd like to know that myself. A1 steak sauce and Chris and Mindy's story. Huh. I'm, I'm curious. Good night, Angie Sue. Good night, Daryl. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, by the way, there's a big granddaddy bear in the cove that's been seen. Wow. Huh. Okay. I'll have to keep our eyes out for him. Y'all have a great night, you too, uh, Banjo Barbecue. Good night, everyone. Blessings. Praying for everyone to meet. Koala Bear, enjoyed the live stream. Good night. Hope uh, y'all are doing well down there um, in the Sunshine State. So we um, look forward to meeting up with y'all again. Good night, everybody. We're going to close it out now. And we want to thank everybody for tuning in. And God bless it, all of y'all for watching. Have Thank a good you. night. <coughs> 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 <coughs>